figured that, you know, when I, when I saw the advertisement for Almost Human, though I didn't remember that it existed until you mentioned it again, uh-huh. it didn't look too bad. Yeah. Uh, even if it did feel like the kind of show where it should be a movie, not a show. Okay. I mean, that that, that was like, like the, the way that they presented it. That was how it felt. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah take that. Wow, that's really loud. Sound yeah. effects. Whatever. You guys are pussies. Um, I like Almost Human. I think it's got some very nice Blade Runner aspects of it. He's just constantly stabbing dudes in the hand. There's gouging out eyes all over the place. Oh, holy crap. Wow. Thumbs in your eyeballs. Um, no, it's just, it's just really dark. You know? And, uh... Mm -hmm. They're not really afraid to kill fuckers either. I mean, you know, people are just getting blown away all the time. Are most of them robots? No, no, like actual people. Oh wow. Yeah. Seems unnecessary. Anyways, are they like bad people? Not always. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. I, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I said let the story play out. Yeah. Uh. So, anyways, I've enjoyed. I've been enjoying that. I've stopped watching. Uh, Agents of Shield all together. I have to admit, I haven't watched Agents of Shield in several no. weeks. And from what I can gather, no one else is either. No, apparently it has very good ratings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've tracked the ratings and it has adequate ratings, not very good ratings. Uh, my friend, my friend Dave said that it has apparently gotten better over the last couple weeks. Now, he also was quick to uh, point out that it is marginally better. Yeah. Hmm. It's not like awesome. It's just oh that wasn't that wasn't as bad. The critics are saying that Arrow is the best superhero show in the last like year, few years. That may well be true. Yeah. I mean, and it says it kicks the hell out of Mar Agents of Shield. Well Agents of Shield has too many people. And, and they, 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 they suck. None of them matter. Mostly, it's just that they don't do much. I'll blame Joss Whedon. You know what? I won't stop you. <laughs> None of us here will. Yeah. We well, couldn't. I I would overpower all of you. <laughs> With the sheer force of his rage. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, did he just play a Merfolk? He did. We should concede. He has that deck. Just concede. Merfolk.deck. <laughs> is he considering trading his legendary creature for my bad enchantment creature? He was. <laughs> then he came to his senses. Yes. Okay. So what does his legendary dude do? Um, if he deals Apparently damage like Wolverine. to a player, exile the top card, well, like he gains one. life equal to its converted mana cost and can cast it. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's good. We should kill him. What I... We could kill him right now mm -hmm. and just swing in. Or we can wait and see if he'll cast something on him next turn and then kill him in response. Yeah. Try to draw two for, one. two for one, but if he has like God's willing, All right. then he could counter our counter attempt. But now he'll mill us next turn when he attacks. Yeah. Well, we'll kill him before he gets us because this. I is, see. But we'll hope that he'll cast something pre-combat. Yeah. Yeah. Like some legendary artifact. <laughs> that would be fun. I was hoping for an ordeal. Like if you have the white ordeal, try to throw it in him. I've got the white ordeal. Is that what you're calling that now? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Tower spell. Oh. I was just waiting for a null. Yeah. No, it turned out. I mean, I, I would have preferred that we got a 
fate foretold out of his hand also, but... Yep. So what does the Tide Binder do? Or whatever the dude is? They just cast on? Um, Wave Crash, okay. Tap target creature and opponent controls. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Tap. Uh, it's whatever. heroic, but... He's still just a 1-4. Fate foretold. Draw a card when it enters play. Draw a card if the creature dies. Big deal. Yeah. This is the shittiest bestow card I've ever seen. It's like, not a bestow card. It's just an enchantment. Or whatever it is. Same shittiest, thing. Shittiest aura. Same thing. Oh, it is not. Is it? Is it? Is it the shittiest aura? No. Is it the shittiest no. aura? No. no. Not close. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> yeah, that's the shittiest aura. Basically just gives Intimidate, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not the shittiest <sighs> I mean, there are truly terrible auras that don't have any upside. It cost eight. <laughs> Protection from multicolored creatures. Wow, that is really specific. Okay, so maybe... Get that guy all saddled up. Intimidate! Ouch. Eh. Once <gasps> next turn, he'll be able to attack for two. He could potentially attack for four if he doesn't have a flyer, or if he casts a flyer and we kill it, Yeah, he'd lose two. So we really want him to tap out to cast a flyer. Then we'd win. That's pretty sweet. Oh, not a flyer. Aw. Oh. We've been slowed down slightly. Yes. On Stupid. the other hand, killing that dude is looking better and better. <laughs> Stupid control decks. <clears throat> Not that it really hurts him as much because the stow thing. But. Right. Andy, draw a card from it and die. Yeah. Um, I guess plus side of it, though, he draws a card, but he has this guy. We can attack with both of them, and he'd pretty much have to trade it off. Right. And he'd lose two life in the process. And he can't keep tapping down our creatures. Yeah. Well, we're back to where we were. Now he has to have a flyer or something to kill this guy. Or the next turn. A flyer. <coughs> of course. Hey, you know what would take care of that thing? Any one of our burn spells? Venom's Bite. Viper's Kiss. Yeah, Viper's Kiss. What's the one? I don't know. I haven't <laughs> looked at this set at all. Ooh. I'm just saying. We still win. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Yep. Double G. Ooh, and we had spicy. Damn. <laughs> so that worked pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, black, red is the new black. Yeah. <laughs> Black's the new black. <laughs> huh. Prophetic. No, probably blue is the new blue. Ah. Impressive! You should mulligan just to be fair. No, I like this. This seems... Seems unfair. I'm not sure I like In this good kind of attitude of yours. You know, we haven't been winning for a while. 90 episodes in, you'd think we were better. <laughs> you know what? 
in our defense, they keep changing the fucking cards on us. That's, That's true. true. If we've been playing with the same cards the entire time, of course we would be better. Yeah. Especially if we had been able to play with the same cards, but we always played against someone who had never played the game before. Yeah. 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 Then we do pretty well, usually. Sometimes. Yeah. Except for those times when they kill us anyway. Those are the worst. Yeah. yeah. Where someone's, like, struggling to tap their land. <laughs> and they still win. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's like playing against Bob. That's like me. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is wrong with this thing? Why won't it attack? <laughs> uh, and so right now this thing isn't very good. Uh, we'll probably want to kill it before we put like that out. Right. And you, there wouldn't be any real benefit to targeting him, but he's a copy of himself. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> artist of the form. <laughs> yeah. I hate it when somebody attacks on the one one creature. Yeah. Why? Because it should be dead by now. <clears throat> <laughs> they should never be. They should never be allowed with that to damage you. Huh. All right, all right. Your deck is inadequate. I've been hearing that for years. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling. Hundred hand one. <clears throat> That's slightly annoying. Yes. So if you cut off one of his hands, does he have to retire? <laughs> I'm sorry, Johnny, fun. but they're just not buying it anymore. <laughs> oh, come on. 99 handed one isn't that bad. You can, it's, it's impossible to say. It's, too much, it's like a tongue twister. Then be like, you know. Like, the only guy who could help, like, 100 Walmart customers at the greeting line. Like, here, would you like to cart, sirs, ma'ams? <laughs> sirs, ma'ams. Would you like a cart? I used to be somebody. So do you think the artisan of forms is going to become a hundred-handed one? So he'll have 200 hands? That'd be pretty awesome. 200 hands sounds like the best kung fu movie <laughs> ever. That's like, you know, right up there at, like, Chow Yun Fat's... Heyday. It does sound like 200 it. hands! Or it's a German dungeon porn. <laughs> it's just descriptive of what's in it. Yeah. <laughs> but there's like nothing else. Yeah. You don't, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not sexy. 200 hand jobs. Yeah, but no, there's no, it's just hands. <laughs> 200 hand models. That's 400 hands, you dumbass! Fucking idiot. <laughs> he doesn't have reach now. <laughs> Swat! So Whoops! <laughs> yeah, because that would make sense. He gains it when he becomes the monster. Ha! <laughs> Can we just start saying when he becomes the monster, like, all the time? Yeah, I support it. Okay. Oh, no, don't... Don't copy that guy. That's not nearly as fun. I've lost a lot of respect for you. Was he just, like, wanting to intimidate? Or to be able to block that guy, <laughs> I guess. Eh. <laughs> Ah, fucking guy. Yeah. Ah, you know, a little bit more... A little more black would be awesome. So I think... What do you attack with? 
I don't know if we're to attack with him or not. <clears throat> we could lash out the whip on this guy to shrink him down and then block. Maybe don't attack at all. Let's see if he'll attack him. We can do a, some sort of double trade. Let's get three cards. Yeah, if we can get a second swamp. Uh -huh. We're in really good shape. It's game to itis. Yep. We always start strong. That's not true. <laughs> <clears throat> so what will he do? What will he do? What's the plan, Stan the Man? I probably want to keep my flyer. Should we fireball somebody? Um, Lash of the Whip, shrink his. Cut off a couple of his hands. <laughs> mm, uh, ugly. Oh, what is he getting back? Oh, his lash. Oh, wait, wait. oh man, I remember that wall that one time, and that was awesome. I hope he turns this guy into that wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's minus four, so he wouldn't be able to kill this thing. Spewing Gorgon. A Gorgon conclusion. Wow. Dot deck. <laughs> oh man, you need to make this deck now. A Gorgon conclusion. Dot deck. Oh, great. So here's the only way this really works. If we get one more land and kill this thing before he can actually benefit from it. Oh, and we can't double. Hey, everyone. Nope. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. How are you? Good. You're all kinds of pregnant. <laughs> yeah, we we are on like 24 hour baby watch now. <laughs> Seriously, I have an ultrasound machine upstairs, and we just watch the baby 24 seven. It's, it's been it's been I doing see. the double deuce dance, and just like, mm, hey, daddy, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw this video where they hooked up these guys to a machine and had them go through a simulation of what labor pains would feel like. And they all pussed out, like they completely like started crying and stuff. All these, these it was all pretty hilarious. I'm like, I'm so fucked up, I don't have to do that. <laughs> it's like to be a woman. Well, uh, that's the reason a lot of us get epidurals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you are supposed to wait until you get to the hospital. <laughs> She's been doing it all week. Like, I don't know how I would to shut up and get the syringe. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Isn't it going for an IV? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. When I said epidural, I meant heroin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went injected in between my toes, like the others. <laughs> Horrifying. Good luck, nerds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. Yep, I'm a father. So he has a lash of the whip and something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way to narrow that down. Boom. Why did you have to double block? Because it's death touch either way. The lash of the whip, one of them. Okay. So we don't deal damage. Oh, that's ridiculous. He must have thought we didn't know he got it back. Oh, it killed both of them. Well, it's Death Touch. Yeah. It's rough, John. That was... Well, we still had to do it to kill it. Sure. 
We're not in that bad of shape. Uh, I'm in terrible shape. I could have a heart attack any day, any day now. Okay, I think if we attack with these two and survive the turn, we can just burn him next turn to win. I was wondering why you weren't just killing his critters. Yep. So as long as he doesn't gain life and doesn't have a counter spell. He doesn't do nine points of damage. Yeah. But he only has three on board. Oh, he's spending all his time with those fate foretold. Ha <laughs> ha! Your fate's foretold, buddy. You just don't know how. Still no life gain. Come on. No whammies. Mm. Okay. Nope. I am fine with that. You are tapped out. You are nice. You, you should type in creatures are so passe. <laughs> burn, baby, burn! Right now he's feeling very good about himself. Oh, yeah. So let's change that. Ha! Oh, he <laughs> conceded before. No. Oh. He had uh, F6, so he w couldn't respond to anything we were doing. Good. Bingo banana yeah, lost yeah. to the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I think I can remember the Alamo. Let's see. Ritual is one, two, three. Rob Bodog. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be Robo Dog and you just misspelled it. <laughs> I prefer Rob Bodog. <laughs> yeah. It's Rob Bodog. Or maybe Robo. <laughs> Robo Dog? Robo Dog. Robo Dog. And I would prefer Crest Crawl if it was. With a C, like the toothpaste? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I've done the crest crawl before. Where the hell is that lid? <laughs> 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 oh, why is it behind the toilet? Damn uh, Okay, well, we dominated. Dominated. And we won Wilma. too. Yeah. And Wilma forgot to... We broke the format. We did. Every so, every week we do it. It's it's, it's so it's Wemo Wemo worm time, right? Huh? You like Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Really? Never mind. It's not important. So have you watched The Hobbit yet, Bob? Have no. you been to a movie in the last ten years? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I really the, don't do much. The original Hobbit or the the current one? Oh, the, it's on the cartoon. Of Small. Yes, I, we have seen the cartoon. The cartoon. Yeah. No, no, the, the, the Frodo of the Nine Fingers and the Ring of Doom. Sorry. But, uh, it's a good show. Never apologize for that. <laughs> yeah. Really, good really, show. really want my question there, Bob. Do, do you like Legolas? What? Do you like Legolas? Or not? Do you, do you like Legolas? Do you like the character Legolas? In the movies? Yeah. I don't get it. Whatever. Okay. So what if I were to say that Legolas is the star of the show in the second Hobbit movie? Have okay. you seen the second Hobbit No, but I've uh, had a lot of people tell me about it. Is it so, out already? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. God, I'm a parent. I thought the dragon was the star of the show. Apparently there's a lot of Legolas in it. So? Do you remember there being any Legolas in the Hobbit? Any at all? Hmm. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, but it's Orlando Bloom, and he's mm -hmm. hot, yeah. right? Sure. And like, no one liked the first Hobbit, so... So they need to make it more suck-awful. So they needed more star appeal. And Orlando Bloom was as close as they could get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because Viggo Mortensen said, No. Because he's not immortal, so they couldn't, like, work it in and say that he was around. Except he an kind, infant. he kind of, wait, like, how long has it been? I mean, I understand that in the book, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I did not get the sense that it's been that long in the movies. Like, they, they press things a lot. Right, except for when Bilbo isn't wearing the ring, and then... Ages one billion years, 
and suddenly, you know, it just suddenly makes it seem like it's been really long. I, I don't know the aging rate of hobbits, and if I did, him I, being 111 was a big deal. Yeah, like like it's not unheard of for hobbits to live this long. Mm -hmm. They have a longer lifespan than humans do. Right, but but him being like spry at 111 was like, well, there's a, there's a reason why his his curmudgeon relatives were getting really pissy about it. It's 111. 111. Yeah. Well, I apologize. Yeah. So, 111st birthday. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit about Legolas, whatever. Oh. He's, he's, he's in the movie. <laughs> well, I know, I saw a lot. Like well, apparently, a lot. And very... Yeah. But is Matt Freeman still cool? Is that the, uh... Uh, Bilbo? Yeah. It's Bilbo. Mm -hmm. it, you know what? In as much as he is capable of being cool, he's awesome. I don't know if I'd ever call him cool. Well, well he's awesome. Therefore, by default, he's cool. No. Not necessarily. Why are we having this conversation? I, I don't know. Because we need to fill time. We really don't. We don't? No. We could totally just stop everything. Including breathing. But I think the audience demands to know... <laughs> That's really not the case. ...your different connotations of cool. So anyway... I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> That's fair. All I know is that the response... Okay, my favorite response to Legolas' input in this film is there. there's an artist that I found on DeviantArt. And he'd drawn a short comic book page and it was like the scene where a uh, bard is shooting the black arrow to kill smog yeah and it comes up short and then another arrow comes in and banks it into smog's heart through the hole and legolas did that because he's like yeah this is this is what the you know based on the second movie this is what's going to happen in the third and then he flies away like superman <laughs> because apparently in this, there's like a point where he's fighting with a squad of orcs, and he slaughters them single-handedly without getting a single mark on him. Okay. Most yeah. D&D characters do that. Yeah, but like, <laughs> if you look at the... Apparently he's slowed down in the next hundred or so years. Because he couldn't pull this shit off. The floor of the rings. Right. I mean, he pulled off some pretty stupid shit. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, the point where... What was it? Mark. If you, if you, if you ever want to have Mark have a uh, Fifth Element-esque moment... Go on. You just... You, you mention the point... Of course point, we do. You mention the point where Legolas... Throws down the shield, rides it down the, the stairway, shooting arrows, and then jumps off it and impales an orc in the neck. With the shield? With the shield. Mm -hmm. Like, you may, it, he will freaking go off. Oh, so it's basically all of your D&D characters. Those are, that's the most awesome stuff ever, yeah. But it's still stupid. Parkour. I mean, I'm not denying it. It's not all my D&D characters. All of them? No, not all of them. All of your characters have some sort of weird Bruce Campbell-like quality that they have to swing on a chandelier at some point during the day, or they're not doing anything. I, I, I must admit, I do like swashbuckling. It's pretty badass. Um, yeah, but it has no place in modern role-playing games. Well, you know, fun must be eliminated from everything modern. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> role-playing has no place in no. modern role-playing <laughs> games. Yeah, it can knock that shit off. It's called video games. Push a button. <laughs> wait, wait 30 seconds. Push it again. Yeah. Look, we're raiding. So what, what do I get to do? Oh, you get to stand here and look at the wall. Yeah, chain heel. <laughs> Not that we're bitter, so we'll see you in the next <laughs> round. <laughs>